Zuko here, and I'm here to finally do my October wrap up. So this month, I read all of these books. Just kidding. I read most of these books and DNF'd one of these books. The first book I read this month was Witches of New York by Amy McKay. This was about some witches in New York, and honestly, that was kind of it. So it's about these two witch powers who like inherited their witchiness, um, and the first witch who was made instead of born. But honestly, the more I think about it, I felt like this plot, it had a lot of things going for it, but it decided to kind of drop all of those threads. And I don't know if there's going to be a sequel. I know there's like a little Christmas novella, but I don't think there's a full sequel. And I feel like this was very long and could have been shorter or could have had more in it that like gave it a reason to be this long. I think I gave this four to five stars, but I might be dropping that to three to five stars. Then I read The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. I've never read this book before. I feel like I should have at this point. I actually really enjoyed it though. Sorry, there's a cat over there. This is about a boy who grew up in a graveyard among the ghosts and his life. I really, really enjoyed this because of course it's it's Neil Gaiman. What's not to love? Um, and I think I gave this four to five stars. Then I read Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell and Faith Aaron Hicks. And this was just super cute. It was like a cute little fun, like friendship book, but also a romance book. Cute art, though I find it really hard to focus on the art when I'm reading a book because I just am reading and not giving it the attention it deserves. I think I gave this three or four to five stars. I wish I remembered. I don't. This is not in the order I read them because this was the first book I read this month because I actually read it at the very end of September. But this is Ask the Dark by Henry Turner. This is about a troublesome boy who is trying to catch a murderer be but nobody believes him. I feel like anyone who's read like YA thrillers has kind of read this book already. The kind of like interesting thing about this book is that it was all told by the main character so no one really says anything. He's he's more retelling it to you so it's all said to him. There's no like direct quotes but it also makes it really kind of frustrating to get into makes it harder to get into because it's all kind of written phonetically in the way that this kid speaks which is not the most proper of English in a way that we are like used to reading books but it didn't make this book super hard to get into but I did wonder for a while there if it was like a bad racist caricature. I don't think it was but I don't know for sure. I think I gave this two or three out of five stars. Then I tried to read The Infects by Sean Bodion. I really liked this cover, but then I realized that these were all chickens, and then I liked it less. So I felt less bad about the fact that this book is terrible. The writing is bad. I'm sorry about the cat. So this is about some delinquent kid who goes to some delinquent kid camp. Everyone's awful. Then zombies happen. I don't know. I tried to read some of this. I hated it. It was so bad. It's just... I DNF'd it pretty much immediately. I tried to give it 50 pages and it was hurting. It was hurting to read. And there was also like casual, like that guy's a homo jokes. And I wasn't here for that. So this has to go away forever because yikes. Then this still has the bookmark in it, but I tried to read Toil and Trouble 15 Tales of Women and Witchcraft by a bunch of women. Um, I read half of it. I read half. I'm gonna save the other half for next year. What I'm learning through reading these kind of things is that I don't like short stories. I find them too hard to get into. A lot of them are meh because it's like a bind up, right? Or an anthology. I don't know the difference. But some of them are bad. Some of them are fun. Some of them are mediocre. I'm sorry about the cat. Um, I don't love these, but I'm going to try to finish it next year. I'm going to count it as read because I read half of it. And I read like half the stories in here. That's like half the book. That's, you know what? It's fine. I haven't rated this because I haven't finished it though. And then I read Wilder Girls by Rory Power. I wanted to love this book. I wanted to love this book so bad. First of all, cover's beautiful. But it is about a girl who is at a boarding school that has been secluded from the rest of the world that's on an island because everyone has started getting this weird illness that's kind of causing body horror and one of her eyes has been like fused shut and something is growing behind it. That sounds great. That sounds like a story I want to read because I like body horror and weird mysteries and stuff. I didn't find that there was enough body horror for my liking. I didn't find that the mystery was even solved. I felt that this book lacked 
most of the elements that would make it a decent story. It was also like sold to me as like a queer romance and I think one girl said she was queer and like there was mentions of some girls kissing one time and that was kind of it. I feel like this would have been a good first draft but it wasn't a good finished book because nothing seemed finish. Nothing seemed solved. It felt like she had all these really good ideas but didn't know how to execute them so she just didn't ever answer any of the questions or reveal anything. So as much as I wanted to love this book I didn't and I either gave it two or three out of five stars. So yeah that was all the books that I read in October. I don't think that I'm going to be doing a monthly TBR for November or December because right now it is NaNoWriMo and December is busy so if you don't see me in the next two months. I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm just probably not reading very much because I'm busy. But I will be back in the new year. I'll see you whenever I do my next video. Let's put them all. Nice.